we're going to make an animation from a sprite sheet. So we make a brand new sprite, SPR running, and we're going to uh, edit the image. And that gives us this drop down at the top, image, import strip image. It's like a comic strip, right? So on my desktop, I just so happen to have this. Now, what I want on this, and I'm using control scroll on this, by the way, to zoom in. And then the middle mouse button to kind of pan around. So let's do this running sprite so you can see that. If you look at the top, if I just scroll up, it's currently one. We want to do six different frames. So let's bonk that on up to six. And we don't want them stacked. We want there to be six of them in one row. So per row should be also be six, right? Now we can move this around and drag it to close to where we want to be. And you see these numbers changing here. Uh, the frame width. There's a little bit, bit of experimentation here. Um, so if I set this here and I start pushing up the frame width, uh, you can't just hold it. Apparently, you got to click it. Now, the first one actually looks not too shabby. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. Doesn't look bad. However, you can see it starts cropping off as you get further over. So I might need to go a little bit larger there and reorient this. Ooh, does that fit all of them? Actually, it might. Ooh, right about there. So I'm not cutting his foot off there, and I'm not cutting his face off there. Let's go for that, and then we'll put the height up a little bit. Actually, I probably should zoom out. Oh, I'm cutting his face there. So the objective is to try to get all the sprites inside the box. Boost up the height here. Now, you might need to use a horizontal separation. In other words, there's actually gaps between the cells. Um, that's not always the case. Um, I'm actually just going to increase my width and move this over a little bit. There. Now, if you don't get it in the right spot, so even if I'm here, it's not cutting anything off. So let's try that. And I'm going to do a quick... Uh, snip so I have those settings because there's no easy way to come back to this. I'll just pull that off to the side and come back to that later if I need to. And hit convert. This will replace the existing one. Sure will. When you hit play, it's actually not too bad. It changed it into that animated sprite. Okay? And then you just repeat that uh, for all of your sprites. So you got to get rid of your green. You can get your magic wand and just click in the green and hit delete. The old version had a way to get rid of that for each one. I'm just hitting the delete key after I select it. Now when I hit play, we have transparency for each frame. Might have to go clean it up a little bit. Yeah, it's a good thing I'm colorblind. I can just claim that I'm colorblind and I can't see it. So good luck with that.